In Creo 11, we have enhanced our style feature to include a surface connections table. Looking at our model here, I will create a new surface. Now I have a new tab, which is called Constraints, that lists out all of my surface constraints and their connection types. I can change these easily within the table. Below the list, I have a collector for the surface references. This shows me what area of the model each connection listed above is referencing. This is helpful to understand your model, but also to troubleshoot errors that might arise. Before Creo 11, we did not have an easy way to track these references. So if you were doing something like suppressing a surface that is being referenced, it would be difficult to know there was a definition error until further down the line. Now you can see that after I've suppressed the reference surface, I can go back into the connections table and quickly and intuitively redefine my surface with another reference. This enhancement helps you stay organized when modeling and it improves your workflows.